Hi, <coughs> I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out of the UK into your homes and around the world. Happy to see you, or oh, I'm glad that you're logging into my show, or my channel, I should say. Now, if it's the first time you're passing through, you're welcome to share, like and subscribe. And if you're already liking and subscribing and you're already a subscriber, then thank you for your support. Um, today I wanted to talk a little bit about um, what's going to happen after Brexit with regard to the clocks going back. Well, apparently, after Brexit, they don't want us to turn the clocks back. Um, it's going to happen in a couple of weeks' time. No, it's actually on Sunday, isn't it? Sundays, the clock go back an hour. And that's supposed to save energy and all that kind of stuff. That was the original reason apparently benjamin franklin thought that they could save you know the farming time and have work and what was it the farming time and you know if you put the clock back an hour you'd have more daylight that kind of stuff and save energy had something to do with coal shortages and all sorts but the thing is i think it's a bit bizarre that you can just decide someone can just decide to turn the clock back and they do it i think that's really bizarre it happened in 1916 as far back as then and we've been using it ever since apparently russia um kept daylight savings but then in 2014 they decided to come aligned with everyone else well not everyone else there's 17 countries that have actually aligned to go put in the clocks back and they've also got countries that don't where it doesn't really make much difference with the daytime so that's where we are now so if um after brexit they decide to scrap um greenwich mean time and just stick to daylight saving that will mean that northern ireland and ireland will be on a different time zone that'll be interesting won't it so as of now though it's business as usual the clocks go back um by one hour 2 a.m on saturday on sunday and then they go forward on the 29th sunday the 29th of march 2020 and so yeah that's it really there's not really much more to say i don't think i think i've covered everything yeah rumors is that uh, the idea was first proposed by benjamin franklin but was later introduced to britain by builder william willett well, its pamphlet, The Waste of Daylight, argued that if the clocks were changed twice a year, people would sleep better, save money on artificial light and enjoy more daylight. But the thing is, what they're saying is that people have problems sleeping when they put the clock back because your body takes time to sink, sometimes weeks. And they also reckon that how much do you save? really in energy because what you what you lose out in the morning you gain back in the evening to, to be honest i prefer they kept it as they as it is because it's really horrible when it gets dark at five o'clock so i prefer and i think it gets dark naturally anyway so i don't know why they mess around with it anyway according to the guardian Coal shortages throughout Europe prompted Germany and Austria-Hungary to take up daylight savings in 1916 to preserve energy, and a flurry of other nations on both sides of the conflict quickly followed suit. The UK took the plunge in May 1916 and have stuck with it ever since. Many countries dropped the ruse after 1918, only re-adopting it during the energy crisis of the 1970s. The idea was introduced into UK law in 1916. About 70 countries observe daylight saving time. Most countries around the equator do not, as there is little variation in daylight across the year. Most Islam Islamic countries do not use daylight saving time, as during Ramadan, it can mean that the evening dinner is delayed till later in the day. Morocco suspends DST during the fast. Iran utilizes DST with no discontinuation for Ramadan. Most of East Asia and Africa does not use daylight saving time. This year, the European Parliament voted to scrap daylight saving time by 2021. If ratified, it could throw up another Brexit issue. 
And I think America, they do their, they put their clocks back in November. It's really haphazard how different people do it at different times in the year. Because how do you harmonize all the different time zones? Well, I guess they were different anyway. If the UK leaves the EU before 2021 and the bloc goes ahead with its plan to swap DST, DST, of course, is daylight saving time, a situation could arise in which half of the year Northern Ireland and the Republic of Ireland would be in different time zones. All EU member states move clocks back one hour on Sunday under a law that harmonises the duration of winter time to prevent a proliferation of different seasonal changes across neighbouring countries. In the US, the clocks go back the first Sunday in November. In the Antipodes, New Zealand moved its clocks forward at the end of September. An Australian state that observe daylight savings, that is New South Wales, Victoria, South Australia, Tasmania, and the Australian Capital Ter Territory, made the switch on the first Sunday in October. So it's different all over the world, it just seems like a random thing to do. Russia decided to stick with daylight saving all year round in 2011, but that led to darkness at noon in some latitudes. And so in 2014, it reverted to standard time in the autumn. The clocks have stayed there ever since. Now the clocks change on the last Sunday of the March and October. What is the downside? The mornings are brighter and the sunset will be an hour earlier, making your day shorter. You will get an extra hour of sleep this Sunday to make up for it. Wider ramifications for energy use, farmer and even mood changes. Critics argue that disruption to the circadian rhythms, i.e. the sleep patterns, can negatively impact on human health. The loss of an hour sleep when the clocks move forward negatively affects sleeping patterns for several weeks afterwards. Will it always be like this? Well, that debt generally depends on Brexit. For now, clocks in the EU switch between winter and summertime. However, Plans were put forward and voted on last year to scrap daylight saving time in the EU member states. Plans have since been postponed, so there is no way of telling whether it will progress into law while the UK is still a part of the EU, or whether it will become law at all. However, Ireland, South, MEP Sean Kelly, has urged the government to reconsider scrapping the biannual clock change and highlighted the importance of giving the issue due consideration following Brexit. The EU-wide publication, Consultation on Daylight Saving Time, which was carried out last year, received 4.6 million responses, the highest ever engagement for an EU public consultation, he said. EU citizens overwhelmingly supported the abolishment of the biannual clock change, with 84% of respondents voting in favour of ending this outdated practice. And I think, I think personally, I think we shouldn't bother change anything. You know, we have to keep putting the clocks forward, putting the clocks back. It's fine when it's on your phone, or on the PC, or on your laptop, or in your car, but you have to go around the house changing, you know, on the microwave, on the stove, on the wall. It can be quite time consuming. So for me personally, I prefer daylight saving to stay and no clocks turning back. What do you think? Put your comments below and let me know. Let's interact. That's all for now. Bye bye.